All right, Coach, uh, coming from the ITA, just coming overall thoughts of the tournament from double standpoint and single standpoint. Yeah, it was, uh, it was an all right tournament. I think everyone on our side would say that we probably underachieved a little bit. Um, you know, we were the one seeds in doubles. Uh, Evan Avery had a you know big goal of, of trying to advance to the ITA Cup this year. Uh, they played two really good matches to get started, and then in the uh, quarterfinals we lost a close one um, to a, a really aggressive team from LCU. Uh, we were down most of the way, made some adjustments, found a way to get back on top at the very very end, um, and ended up losing it uh, by a couple points in the tie break. So that was kind of rough. Uh, I think they do still have an outside chance at making it, uh, at, you know, as an at-large bid. Um, you know, them being ranked so highly in the nation. So, so we'll see how that goes if if we can move on from there. Uh, in singles, we had some we had some rough draws. I mean, that's just the way it goes in tennis. You never know if you're not seated, you may end up playing one of the top players in the tournament in the first round and not get a chance to work your way into the tournament. So we had to play the one seed in the second round. We had to play the four seed in the first round. We had to play the six seed in the first round. Um, so, you know, not, not a bad showing, especially from some of our, our new girls. Um, you know, we almost took a set off of, uh, you know, one of the girls who will probably be the number one for Cameron this year. And that was, a you know, a, one of our freshmen, uh, Elise, another one of our freshmen, uh, came three points away from beating the one seed who actually ended up winning the tournament. So she actually had the, the closest match against the one seed in the whole tournament. So, you know, saw some really good things there and, you know, just still kind of workshopping the other doubles teams. I mean, we, we didn't do poorly, but we did have to play the four seed and the six seed in the first round of doubles. Um, so it's just hard because when you don't get a chance to work your way, you know, into the tournament with some, you know, kind of more manageable, easy, easy round matches. Uh, but again, too, this is, you know, some teams in the Lone Star Conference have already played three tournaments before coming into this, and this was our first one, really. Um, so, I, I, you know, obviously, anytime you compete, you want to, to win a lot of matches and do, you know, as best as you can. But, I mean, we still have two other opportunities, at least two more opportunities to compete in the fall. So, you know, I think, that, you know, early on in the season, a lot of it is about just kind of figuring out, um, you know, how you're going to react to, to the different stimuli of competition. And I think that we will do better the rest of the fall because we got a, you know, a taste of it uh, early on and get some really good competition. What have you seen from the senior leadership that is helping the, the underclassmen kind of transition? Yeah, I mean, you know, our, our seniors, Avery, Eva, and Mika, um, you know, they're obviously experienced players, but they're also, you know, players who, uh, you know, younger players will gravitate to because they're very competitive, um, but they, they all do it kind of like in a different way. Eva's much more vocal. Uh, Mika's much more um, kind of like a, a mother figure uh, on the court, especially with some of our younger players. Um, and then Avery's just like a really, really tough competitor. Uh, and so, you know, they are, they're really special to our team. Uh, we're going to lean on them a lot this year. Um, especially in doubles and uh, and yeah I mean I think that you know early on in the season when you go on your first road trip and you know the, the freshmen get their first taste of you know college competition and you know two of our girls who are sophomores just started in January of last year so they had never played a fall tournament before so you know I think that you know having girls on the team who who really do have a lot of experience doing that is gonna is gonna pay off uh, as we as, you know go into these next two tournaments the rest of the fall. As you head to Kingsville this weekend, what are you hoping to look uh, in the Havilene Jam? You'll be able to see some more conference opponents probably and things like that. What are you hoping to see from that weekend? Yeah, you know, Kingsville will be there and then, you know, a lot of D1 uh, schools will be there. a and Corpus, who always usually wins their conference. Um, Prairie View will be there. UTRGV, who has some new really good players, are going to be there. So. You know, I, it looks like it's going to be hot and humid. So, you know, the conditions are going to be tough and the competition is going to be tough. So, you know, really just look for, especially the young players, take like one more step this weekend, um, see if they can just handle, you know, kind of the, the, the swings of emotions and swings of momentum in a match, um, kind of deal with the, you know, the, the atmosphere of a college tennis environment, which is a lot different than kind of a junior tennis environment. Um, so, so, you know, their eyes were opened a little bit, uh, you know, this weekend. So going down to Kingsville this weekend, I think we'll get some, some good competition and some in, in tough conditions and, you know, looking to win as many matches as we can, of course, but uh, especially just see a little bit 
bit of you know growth and development you know going from uh, having one tournament under our belt and kind of preparing as we go you know to, to win a lot of matches but then the next weekend after that we have the Midwestern tournament where we will see a lot more teams from our conference will be there so you know this weekend is kind of like a bridge you know between the first competition and the last competition of the fall so you know I think definitely we want to to see some toughness and to see a little bit of growth um, and, and improve on some things that we maybe didn't do as well as we could have uh, this last weekend. Thanks, Coach. Thanks.